Hey everybody, a while back I did a video on a hydroponic ornamental super hot. It's been a while so today I decided to give a follow up. So the plants has gotten very very big and the container here is so small that it's just keep drinking up all of the water every two to three days. It's kind of annoying to just keep having to change water or add nutrients so often. So today I decided to move this out into a larger container. While I'm doing that, I thought I'd just take you through the process and show you what's going on. And also I wanted to show you some fruits of these plants. These are two branches that I propagated. One is a MOA Scotch Bonnet Yellow and the other one is a Brazilian Ghost Red. So at the bottom here is a Brazilian Ghost Red. It's a very cool looking fruit. These things are really, really hot. So that's one of it. They're, they're fruiting all over the place, so there's a bunch of them. Here's another one. This is a Brazilian Ghost Red. And there's a few back there. And there little ones there. And there are a lot of flowers, so I'll get a ton more of these very soon. It'll look very interesting once uh, everything starts to change into different colors, but for now they're just all green. Okay, so those are the Brazilian Ghost Red, and I'll turn this around. I'll show you the MOA Scotch Bonnet. So there it is right there. This part, these are a little bit different uh, than the Brazilian Ghost. They're not as bumpy. And these will turn a really beautiful yellow color once they're ready. And there's a ton of flowers coming out, so I will get fruits for those. Okay, here's a few more down here. And as I mentioned earlier, that's the size of the container. I think this is about 1.2 liters or something like that. Not very much. So today I'm going to move them into a larger container. And this is a gallon. I got this at a, at a dollar store. It's basically this. And I just painted the container black so that algae cannot grow when lights penetrate through into the nutrients. I'm going to drill a hole on top. And then a little hole for an air tube because I'm looking to grow this for a very long time. Okay, so let me put this down and I'll take you through the process and show you how this works. Okay, for drilling this, you will need a drill. These are two inch net cup. So you want something that is exactly the same size. Right here. And it's gonna go in like that. Now, normally if you don't have a way to tell where the center is, you can take a marker and draw it like that. Or you can put your net cup like this and trace it around. And that's how you can find your center. But for this, the container has this little dot there. So I know that's the center. So I'm gonna place this on. Now drill it in. So you wanna go forward until it creates a hole and now drill the reverse. Doing it the reverse way will give you a smoother cut and it's much easier that way and it does not put strain on your wrist. Okay, very easy. And you can clean that up after. Then I'm going to also drill another small hole here for the air tube. And you can just pick a spot anywhere, it doesn't matter where. Okay, that's it. See, and your net cup will fit like that. Let me clean this up, and then I'll show you how I would transplant the plant in here. Okay, it's time to remove this plant out of this little container and move it to the larger one. So, it's gonna be quite a challenge. So you don't want to damage the root section so just try your best to pull it all out without damaging too much uh, if you damage a little bit that's fine there's tons of roots left 
Okay, there we go. So now we're just gonna try to put it back into here. And this is the challenging part. There we go. And now it's in a larger container. And because it's kind of swaying back and forth, I'm gonna have to tape this down with some duct tape so it won't it will not fall over. Let's clean this up a little bit. It's leaning towards one side because the Brazilian ghost is much heavier than the MOA Scotch bonnet and it has more fruits, so it's hanging towards that direction. But that's fine because I'll have to, I would use some duct tape and tape it right here and try to keep it down. I will come back and show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, everything is complete and I taped it up. Now it's not falling over anymore. Then I also left a little thing here so I can monitor the water level. So now I'm going to need to fill this up with nutrients. And I mix my nutrients a gallon at a time. This is the General Hydroponic Flora series. Because the plants are in bloom, I mixed it a little bit different than uh, for growth. And I'll put all the instructions on the mix in the description, so make sure to check there. This mix is basically to boost bloom. So you use, uh, normally it's be one part of each. And for bloom, it will be two parts of bloom and one of everything else. Okay. To fill the water up, all you need to do is remove the container, the lid. This container is a gallon, so we'll just fill it all the way up. It needs a little bit more. And because we're using an air stone, you can fill it up all the way to the top with nutrients. And we are pretty much set. Now we just put it back into where it belongs. The lights I'm putting this under is the Endomax 150H. I just switched it out and my plants are loving it. So that's pretty much all for this video. If you guys want to see more updates of this plant in the future, uh, please comment below and let me know and I will make sure to record more as the plant progress and start to show different types of fruits and different colors all on the same tree. Okay, thank you for watching.